welcome to Mumbai. Fasten your seat belts and switch on your ignition as we take you on the fastest route from Marine Drive to Varsova. By passing heavy traffic jams in all other parts of the city on the proposed 29.2 km coastal road in India's maximum city. Though the road on which you may soon be travelling has already witnessed a good many number of speed bumps, the dream of turning Mumbai into Shanghai seems too big for any hurdle. Compared to Shanghai, Mumbai's modern infrastructure is poor. We have too few long flyovers, connecting freeways, local trains, metro lines or monorails, but the coastal road could trump it all. A plan first envisioned in 2011 by the BMC at a cost of 5,000 crore, under $1 billion at the time, has risen to 14,000 crore or over $2 billion due to various delays. This will now increase further by 900 crore because of a July 2019 order by the Bombay High Court, which, by the way, is in Fort Area, around from where the flyover begins. Lack of proper scientific study and improper environmental impact assessment compels us to stop the project. In a victory for activists, fishermen and environmentalists who filed 17 public interest litigations demanding the project be stopped, which the High Court did largely on a technicality. It is not a road development project, but an area development project for which more stringent environmental clearances are needed. Technically, he's correct. Of the 244-acre project, less than 20%, just 44 acres is for roads. So what is being developed is not a road, but an area. BMC's appeal to the High Court ruling is pending in the Supreme Court. Let's leave that for the courts as our proposed journey begins from the Princess Street interchange, walking distance from the Wankhede Stadium. As we pass Mumbai's coastline, you won't see the hideous tetrapods meant to keep the fury of the Arabian Sea at bay hidden below the new road, while the proposed Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj statue will soon be watching over us. As the road moves towards Mumbai's original Chaupati, or popularly referred to as beachfront, it takes a deep dive 25 meters under the beach as you enter the 1.9 km fall-in tunnel at Girgam Chopati. You are now driving 75 meters under the top of the famous Malabar Hill. This twin tunnel built by an Indian firm is designed to be earthquake resistant and set to last for 120 years. In built are 13 additional interconnecting cross tunnels which could be opened in case of an emergency. As you emerge at Priyadarshani Park, you will have to wait till the Bridge Candy Interchange about a kilometre up ahead to exit for Mahalakshmi Mandir or view homes of some of India's top business families. But from the coastal road, you may be able to see the top of Antilla, home to India's richest man for the last 10 years, next to whom lives India's now ailing nightingale Lata Mangeshkar, who objected against the Pedder Road flyover. forcing a major realignment and massive increase in cost of the coastal road. Instead of a flyover from Wilson College over Pedder Road, it had to go all the way around it. She thanked the BMC by promptly moving to live in Dubai, as the residents of Pedder Road continue to live in traffic agony. Almost immediately, we reached the famous Haji Ali Dargah, near which 11 of 344 documented coral species in the proposed project area were found. These 11 coral species were another reason the High Court stopped the project. BMC must take into account this marine diversity and secure necessary permissions under the Wildlife Protection Act. A coral, dog or cat seems to have greater rights in Mumbai than people. Decongestion due to the coastal road will cut travel time by 70%, reducing manas loss, reduce air pollution, bring down Mumbai's fuel bill by 34%, saving foreign exchange, reduce wear and tear of vehicles, saving money for the common man. Most objections by Mumbaikers, and rightly so, were worries about commercial exploitation of real estate created through the project. But let us inform you that the BMC has promised no commercial exploitation and the land will instead be used to develop 27 acres of prominence or walkways along the water, 141 acres of green zones, joggers parks, cycling tracks and underground parking areas at Amarsan's Garden, Malachmi Temple and Wali Sipes. 
Now we reach modern Mumbai's biggest architectural achievement, the 5.6 km Bandra Wali ceiling. Till now, driving on the coastal road did not cost you anything. But Wali to Varsova, cars will be charged a toll of 250 rupees, hiked regularly until 2052. Here, BMC hands over the 9.98 km south section of the project to MSRDC, who will oversee the Varsova Bandra ceiling, which at 17.17 km is three times as long as Bandra Wali ceiling. VBSL two face environmental issues for unnecessarily wanting to chop off three hectares of mangroves, two and a half at Varsova end and half a hectare near Carter Road exit. Mangroves are crucial for saving Mumbai from the sea's fury and from flooding. The authorities' promise of transplantation seem like a sham. Every mangrove tree has around 30,000 roots under the water. The High Court agreed with activist Zoru Batena, allowing this part of the project to continue. Cut 200 meters of mangroves required to build the 10 pillars. Why cut 3 hectares? While the current Bandra Wali ceiling exit goes towards BKC and the airport, driving towards Carter Road interchange will give you an opportunity to pass homes of several Bollywood stars. At Mannath, in Galaxy Apartments. The next interchange is the Juhu exit, your chance to go to the famous Juhu beach. The Kohli's of fishermen of the area have also protested against the road, claiming it would affect their livelihood. As you reach the Varsova exit, you would have travelled from Bandra to Varsova in 17 minutes instead of 75 to 90 minutes. And from Marine Drive to Varsova in about 30 to 35 minutes instead of the minimum 2 hours it would have otherwise taken you. Though the journey was supposed to be till Kandivili on paper, this road ends in Varsova as BMC has not revealed any updated plans. Construction is slated to be completed by 2023, provided the Supreme Court gives the project a go-ahead. Activists are stopping projects that are in the greater interest of the public, like the Metro Shed at RA, but are unable to stop politicians and ruthless builders from grabbing public property and funds, making the general public pay for both crimes. On the one hand, the city loses its green cover to the corrupt and powerful, while on the other, well-intentioned activists hold up progress. Bizbo's Limerick! It's time Mumbai gets something like the coastal road. Along with the metro, the city needs another mode. But environmentalists protest, for the city they mean the best. But the hold-up should not make the commute an unbearable load. Subscribe to Bizbo's channel and be sure to click on the bell icon. Be the first to know when Bisbo releases a new video.